In recent times, we have witnessed the power of AI through tools like ChatGPT and Midjourney. We have experienced the acceleration of the content creation process by using them. How exciting would it be if artificial intelligence is used for designing aircraft? Turns out, this is already being done. In this video, we will look at a design technique that uses AI and additive manufacturing to create shapes that are radically different compared to existing aircraft design templates. This technique is called the generative design. And it is not just being used in the aerospace industry, it is a disruptive technology that can alter the shape of all products in the future, from furniture and wearables to machines. Generative design came to the spotlight in 2018. Autodesk, a renowned engineering software developer, showcased this technology on the BBC. Autodesk had been working on the technology since 2015 when it embarked on the project of making a car using AI. How does generative design work? Well, the process is as follows. Engineers first feed information on product requirements into the computer. This information would be the space allowance, the weight allowance, the strength and rigidity required, and the forces required and the position of the required forces. In short, the performance requirements and the constraints are keyed in. The software then goes to work. It will dream up designs while allowing users to tinker and add more details at any point. The computer will come up with thousands of designs and will compare one against the other. It will then find the optimal solution and present the final design. In some cases, there might be more than one solution or more than one design that meets all the required outcomes. The designers then have the luxury to choose the design as they see fit. Therefore, in a way, generative design is helping to make designers become curators. So far, the one thing that stands out about the AI-generated design is that they don't look anything that is designed by humans. In many ways, they are quite close to the way nature designs. The disadvantage is the manufacturing process. Almost all the time, the designs are so complex and convoluted that they cannot be made by conventional techniques. The only way they can be made is by additive manufacturing or in other words, 3D printing, which is both expensive and time consuming. And not to mention, it's not ideal for mass production. The process of generative design is also computationally expensive. The technology only took off when cloud computing was available. Let's now have a look at how generative design is helping in the aerospace industry. Generative design has been helping aircraft to lose weight. The Airbus A320 has lightweight partitions between cabins that were designed by Autodesk AI. The partition skeletal design has rods crisscrossing at odd angles. The partition is structurally very strong but also lightweight, weighing 45% that is 30 kilograms less than current design. Airbus estimates that the new cabin partition design can save up to 465,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions a year. Because of its unique shape, Airbus calls it the bionic partition. The vision is now to have a whole bionic aircraft by the year 2050. But can generative design go from component level to whole aircraft level? Turns out it's complicated, but it is being researched. Aerospace engineers at Delft University in the Netherlands have been developing a system that compares conceptual aircraft designs called IDA. While researchers at the German Aerospace Center, DLR, have been investigating AI's role in helping to tune combat aircraft to specific missions. NASA is also working on it. The lander for the missions to the moons of Jupiter and Saturn have been developed using generative design. The lander's legs are 35% lighter than previous human-made designs. 
Quadcopter drones is another area where generative design is being used. Have a look at the multiple designs that the computer has imagined within the constraints it was given, such as the total weight and the dimensional envelope. With generative design, the shapes look more organic, and this is quite evident in the nose landing gear design that was recently researched by a group of Greek students. Unlike the use of AI for creating images or creating content, for the aerospace world, Coming up with designs is very computationally intensive as millions of equations have to be solved for developing even a single form. Would this technology define the shape of things to come? One more challenge is the economics. At present, it is difficult to manufacture AI designs other than through 3D printing, which means higher cost. But if the design itself is able to absorb the extra cost through low running costs, then generative design technology will truly take off. There's a lot of scope for synergy between the propulsive system and the aerodynamics of the aircraft. And with this, the video is concluded. We will bring for you more on this topic in the future as it is a developing field. Please subscribe to the channel to remain informed. Thank you for your attention.